Hello and welcome to another lecture in Rancher Course Series by TakeLitters.net. So far we had covered a lot of things like course overview objectives, then introduction to Rancher, setup and configuration of Rancher on AWS, GCP, Azure, then we had covered the Rancher GUI, then the Rancher CLI, Rancher architecture, lot of things. Now in this lecture we're talking about uh, cluster and user management, exactly like what is cluster and user man management and management in rancher user roles global access control authentication these all things okay so uh, you can also see on screen that in our ppt you can see in cluster and user management section there are four points which is cluster management create manage and monitor given it is cluster user roles uh, define user roles and permissions to control access to specific clusters and resources global access control manage user access to entire rancher platform Authentication, integrating with existing identity providers like Active Directory, LDAP for seamless or user authentication. Okay, so let's get started our lecture. So by the end of season, you have, will have a solid understanding how to add, configure, and scale Kubernetes cluster. Okay, and uh, as well as uh, like uh, what uh, uh, what you have, uh, what you are doing, and other things. Okay. So let's get started. So cluster management in uh, uh, Rancher. So let's start it with cluster management. Rancher makes it incredibly easy to manage clusters, Kubernetes clusters, whether they are running on pro, uh, cloud providers like AWS, uh, Google Cloud, or on-premises or Azure. Okay, so adding cluster. Adding a new cluster in Rancher is a straightforward. Okay, so let's see where is our... Uh, clusters here you can see that uh, we have one active clusters okay if you click on manage so you can also see that uh, here you can manage your clusters and other things you can also import existing clusters from here uh, like if you click on this button so it will import the existing clutter clusters this will loading and it will take one or two minutes here you can see the uh, registering an existing cluster in a hosted Kubernetes provider there are a lot of options are also available here like Amazon EKS, Amazon Azure EKS, Google GK, Generic. Okay, cancel this. Then uh, if you want to create a new cluster, so you can uh, click on this and you can create a new cluster also. Here you can select the provision new nodes and create cluster in the RKE to basically run the Kubernetes engine. Then KTS basically uh, KTS is uh, Kubernetes. Okay, so you can create a new cluster also from this button. Then if you want to download the YML file, so you can download the YML file. Here uh, I have one cluster, if I click on this, so you can download kubeconfig and download YML file. You can see that it is active now. If you want to download any uh, cluster or download any YML file, download any kubeconfig. So simply you have to click on this, or basically on the cluster, state uh, button here, and then uh, uh, after this, you can uh, your download and uh, Q config and download YML button is active, so you can download it. Now, if you want to explore this uh, cluster, so you can explore from here. This is uh, a Kubectl shell button. Here you can see a lot of action like view YML. Okay, so you can view YML, download YML, edit config, copy Kube config to clip clipboard, download Kube config, Kubectl shell. Okay, so these all things here you can see the cloud credentials then drivers like cluster drivers and other things so here you can see the cluster drivers and other things if you want to activate any or deactivate any cluster drivers so you can uh uh same you can do uh check the uh active cluster or if you want to inactive if, if your uh, uh, like cluster drivers inactive so check on inactive driver and you can activate this driver from this button okay so uh, you, if you want to delete uh, the cluster driver, so you can also delete, uh, uh, like you can delete from this button. If you, uh, like uh, all, if you add something new, if you want to create a cluster driver, so you can create from this button. Now here you can see the refresh Kubernetes metadata, so you can refresh uh, metadata from this button. Now if you want to check the node driver, so this is the node driver series. Same here you can do activate, deactivate, and delete. If you want to create a new new node driver, so uh, so you can create. Uh, uh, do, uh, do with this create button okay and here you can see the rke e1 configuration basically the new node templates and uh, ranch kubernetes engine templates okay so if you click on node templates so you can see uh something here 
then uh, RKE templates, then if you go in advanced, so you can say JWT authentication and other things. Okay, so this is uh, about the cluster. And uh, if you want, uh, like, if you want to do something cluster and project, if you want to check the cluster and project members, you can add from here. If you click on add members, so you can like uh, give uh, cluster permission also, like owner, custom, and member. Okay. Next, uh, we have events tools. You can also explore this if you want to check the node. So here you can see our node is local node. And if you want to the like, if you want to. Uh, create a project or if you want to download the YML of the project YML file of the project if you want to delete the project so you can uh, do this stuff from here you can also create a namespace from here then uh, next is our uh, like uh, uh, we have covering configuring clusters we have covering adding clusters okay scaling clusters now user management in rancher and authentication so this is one of the most important point uh, most important term. And if you want to check the storage and other things, you can check uh, here. Uh, so click on user authentication uh, but uh, option. Then here you can see the users. If you want to download the files or I or anything, so you can download from uh, download the YML file here. You, if you want to change the settings and other things, so you can click on this button again. If you want to add something or create any new users, so you can create from here. You can give a username, display name, description, password, and all the things. Okay, so go back. Then here you can see the uh, role templates. Okay, so here you can see the role templates. Basically, administrator. If there is any users, you can also create a global role. Okay, so you can create a global role from here. You can give a unique name, description, default role for new user, anything, API groups, and then you have to create from here. Okay, now you have to, uh, like there is not any group right now. Uh, so go back and uh, then uh, cluster, same here, then project namespaces. Uh, if you want to create a project namespaces, clusters, project name global, role templates so global uh, create global role so you can uh, do with this button okay now if, if you click on groups so right now uh, i have not any group so now you have to create a group or search group here and delete same same to delete and uh, do delete and anything now auth provider okay so uh, if you're talking about auth provider to manage users effectively, Rancher integrates with various authentication provider like external authentication. Rancher supports LDAP, and then here you can see the LDAP, Active Directory, Free IPA, Open LDAP, then uh, uh, GitHub, and other external authentication system, allowing you to centralize user management and enforce your organization security policies. Okay, local authentication is external authentication is not needed. Rancher also supports local user accounts which can be managed, managed directly within the platform. Okay, access control. So access control is uh, about ensuring that users can only access the resource they are permitted to. Now, uh, project and uh, namespace management, we have, we have already covered, we have already covered project and management in this lecture. Okay, so now uh, putting it all together to illustrate how these concepts are considered a scenario where you're managing a multi tenant environment, providing provision cluster, define projects and assign users, then scale as needed, monitor and enforces policies. So you can do this stuff uh, when you like managing a project or when you putting it all together or in creating an environment. Okay, so you have to implement all these things. Now, in conclusion, Rancher provides a powerful and flexible platform for managing Kubernetes cluster and user. Its initiative, initiative interface and robust set of tools simplify the complex task of cluster management, user role assignment, and access control. By leveraging this feature, you can ensure that your Kubernetes environment is secure, scalable, and well organized, allowing your to team to focus on deploying and managing, managing application with confidence. So that's all about lecture. I hope you guys like this lecture and. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this course also. So, yeah, bye-bye. We will meet in next.